it hadn't been for you guys and closing this video out, I probably wouldn't have caught that until we were on the trail someplace. Hey, welcome back out in the garage. Today we are on this oil cooler. It is broken off. So we're gonna see if we can't fabricate a bracket system for it to hold it up here where it goes. I may even try to move this guy outboard out here. Originally, it hung kind of in this vicinity here. See a little cut they put in the original air box. Actually, it's not an air box, that's for the clutch cooler. And get that guy maybe back out there to free up this area in here for our spare tire. So I'm gonna get this guy pulled loose and see if we can't mock up some bracketry for it. We get you guys on a couple cameras thrown up here, this one on a tripod, and we'll get after some work. Let's go find some parts. to try some craziness here I think that we can mount all this stuff all on its very own without a grate on it we'll get rid of the wrist gracing grate uh, this should free us up some room in here and it'll free us up some time because I don't have to do all the repair work on that other exterior grate What's up with you? Our time-lapse camera was angry about something. I didn't think I did anything to make it mad, but if you know anything about GoPros, I don't think you have to do anything to them. They just become angry and unruly. Okay, so we have that. Well, apparently we're gonna have to take this thing plumb off because it's not feeling cooperative. And all of that, and I don't have the right tools. Oh, if it wasn't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Okay. My bar's scarred up now. That's poop. Let's see what we're gonna have to do to make this work. Somebody obviously wasn't worried about me getting into this thing. Cause that's a pain in the butt. Need a regular Allen wrench cause it got it so close you can't get in there. Believe it or not, I have a ton of these clamps all in Utah, all in the race trailer. Yep. That's how we roll. Nothing in the right spot, nothing where you need it. I'm telling you, we're a disaster. Okay, I think we got a plan. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I got a plan. Let's show you guys what we're working with. This is Christmas, right? You see the bag still up there from Christmas because Preston's got done it out my shop and not taken away. More Christmas. This thing is still there. There's a stainless steel tubing that those fittings gotta get welded on. That's the aluminum one. Uh, there's my material rack and my saws over there and the razors in there. And I don't even have the material that I thought I had in the rack. So I gotta go find my material and then make some little mounts to mount this oil cooler. So we're gonna leave you for a minute. I promise it won't be long. We're gonna leave you for a minute and we're gonna go get a piece of material. Think it may be in another building. Well, another storage shed. We don't really have many buildings. And we'll grab that, run back over here and see if we can figure this mount situation out. We'll be right back. All right, 
right, so I'm gonna have to talk a little bit loud. Audio is gonna be a little bit weird. Our main camera overheated. Shocker, right? The GoPro that overheated. And it doesn't want to turn back on. So I've got it literally in the monster cooler trying to chill it. So I am currently playing a game with this thing, trying to get it figured out where we need to cut, how much we need to notch, all that fun stuff. Because of that, I didn't change the microphone over so your audio kind of sucks a little bit. Sorry about that. But it is what it is. All right, so I know it's hard to see, but we either, we have to decide, are we gonna notch this whole piece out of here or do we notch this out and then try to just slide that up on there we'll have to figure it out we'll decide and be back with you in a minute so main camera is still being a pain in the butt so figured we'd grab this guy and bring you over here show you what we got going on oh let's find a good spot for you guys see cameras over here everything's plugged in everything's good just refuses to turn on oh make youtube videos they said it'll be fun it's fun it's just super stressful sometimes we'll put you guys right over here so what we decided to do was split this guy down and then we're going to see if we can break this chunk out of here definitely not the right tool for the job but i think it'll work these are actually a pair of cable cutting pliers that I had laying here. Uh, and because things walk over a little bit, we're gonna have to do some file work. He pinched in my finger. All right, so we made a little slit in it. Let's see if it'll fit our little slice of heaven over here. I think that'll work. It'd work even better if I brought a pencil so that I could mark on this. So we're also gonna have to, let me move you guys just a little bit. We're also gonna have to cut this corner off right here because it's hitting our fitting on our oil cooler. So we're just gonna notch the edge of that off just a bit. It should be okay, but see, I'm still wearing the microphone from the main camera, but I don't wanna stop because I'm on a roll. I don't know if I'm on a roll or not, but I'm doing stuff. So we gave that guy a little radius, which should help clear our fitting down there. We got the hole drilled in it. Now let's see if this works. Think this thing will start back up yet? Nope. We're gonna have to do some work to that because we need two cameras. You guys can't have just one angle. That's boring. And then I gotta yell at this camera because GoPro's audio isn't great. This is the point where I become impatient. Let me show you guys what we got. There's our little bracket that we made. Just does reach up under there, which then will allow us to put our cooler just like that. This bar will protect it. We'll come off of this mount down here. And we'll put us another support mount in here and get this guy up and level and everything happy 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 and then i think we'll be okay we'll probably have to bend us a little
IN mount for the top bracket just so that, that the height of that thing doesn't rock back and forth. But way, way more secure than what it was. And we get rid of all the zip ties and all that hookiness that we had going there. And we may even be able to move this oil line to come out through up here rather than down there. And that will eliminate having more stuff in the bin that we don't need. But I'm gonna go work on the other camera. I'll be right back. You guys are fogged up. So get this craziness. We uh, put the camera in the monster cooler over there, cooled it down, pulled it back out. Everything's great now. So I don't know what the crap was going on. Uh, turned on fine in the house wouldn't turn on after we got back out here so I don't know what's going on um, we are waiting you can hear the roar of the air compressor in the background waiting for that thing to pressure up and then we will be on to blowing the air filter out but clean up now and cleanup sucks. We're gonna close things up for tonight. We'll get back with you as we load out tomorrow. And then it's back to Utah. Um, progress on the new HQ build. So we'll have a new home base in a less than a year. So excited about that. We've got a lot of stuff going on. We have got an oil leak. Did you guys see that? I just barely caught it. It is leaking everywhere. We're gonna have to take a look at that. And get a light after it. Let's fire this thing up, see where it's leaking from. I'm gonna have to shut it off and or loosen it up and pivot it a little bit. So I'm sure it's tight. It's gotta be just how it has it bound up. quality catch if it hadn't been for you guys and closing this video out I probably wouldn't have caught that until we were on the trail someplace oil puking out of this thing so I guess that's a good thing all right now for reals we're gonna get out of here but if we don't see you thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one